Hello and welcome to the Global Electronics Report. It's Friday, March 24th, and my name is David Burford. Today's program is sponsored by Panasonic. A new report from Research and Markets has found that the global surface mount technology market will grow as a CAGR of 8.9% between 2017 and 2022 to reach 5.42 billion US dollars. Key factors behind the growth will be increased demand for miniaturized consumer electronic products and the increased adoption of electric vehicles. There is restraint in the growth of the market due to high investment costs of setting up of production units. It is placement equipment which is expected to hold major share in the market. The report available from researchmarkets.com covers consumer electronics, telecommunications, aerospace and defence, automotive, medical, industrial and energy and power systems market segments. Connexus LLC, who process waste metals such as tin, tin zinc, lead, silver, gold and copper and converts them into usable metal products for sale into the global market, has released a new brochure outlining benefits of metals recycling in the electronics industry for manufacturers. The 14-page brochure gives clear benefits of the recycling metals wastes such as dross, solder and consumables. The company has advanced recycling technologies and keeps its customers compliant with local, state and federal regulations and also saving them from reporting to the EPA as a toxic release transfer of such waste products. The annual Southern Manufacturing Show took place in Farnborough in the UK this week. 800 exhibitors from domestic and international companies were exhibiting equipment from inspection equipment, placement machines, manual and selective soldering technology, as well as contract manufacturers and distributors. I went along on the first of the three days that the show takes place to check out some of the products on the show floor. Join me after a small break to find out more. Solder Connection were exhibiting Metcal CV5200 Connection Validation Soldering Station. With smart heat technology, it can evaluate the quality of the solder joint by calculating the intermetallic compound formation and provides closed loop feedback to the operator. Vision Engineering had the Lynx Evo on display, a reduced cost stereo microscope employing a patented optical technology that removes the need for restrictive eyepieces resulting in amazing optical clarity. The microscope has 120 times magnification and is ideal for inspection of printed circuit boards. The ergonomic eyepieceless design can relieve operator eye strain and fatigue and symptoms associated with bad posture. Pickering Interfaces, manufacturers of switching and simulation modules, were showcasing their two-slot USB LXI modular chassis, first ever in-house built chassis. Sales manager for the UK and Ireland, Nick Hickford, told me more. Basically this is uh, a new departure for Pickering Interfaces. Uh, this is our first chassis that we've designed and built entirely in-house. And it's designed um, from feedback from customers where uh, they wanted something maybe smaller, more portable, uh, desktop um, that could take our switching and simulation cards but in a smaller package. So in fact we could actually move that nearer to the device under test to, to make it uh, better for signal um, uh, quality and also more convenience. This is um, a USB and Ethernet controlled chassis. So it's uh, LXI compliant and USB 3 compliant. Um, and it will take any of our thousand switching or simulation models. So that includes switching, obviously, but also the simulation includes things like um, programmable resistor modules, uh, digital I.O., power supplies, thermocouple simulation, and so on. So this is hopefully the first of many. 
Ingen's MA21 test fixture for PCBs can test the top and bottom of the board as well as the side all at once upon the fixture being closed. Also being exhibited were their range of test probes. Kick were showcasing their SPS Smart Profiler that transforms thermal process data collection from a costly chore to a value added function. The profiler can suggest improvements for the reflow oven setup after collecting profile data that is compared to the process specifications. On the Mertec Europe stand, I caught up with President Dave Bennett and asked him if the MV6 Omni is still a success. Yes, it is. Uh, it's probably about 85% of everything that we sell in AOI into the SMT segment. Uh, Miratech's also very successful in semiconductor and also LED manufacturing, but for SMT, um, the MV6 has been a fantastic tool for us. And uh, it's, it's not just done by area, I mean literally right across the world, every divisional office that Miratech has, if you were to ask any of them, everybody would turn around and say the 6 Omni is the machine that the customers love. Main reasons really, David, is that the, uh, the specification, when you compare it to the price that the machine goes into the market for, is unmatchable. It's got a, the best camera uh, in the industry, 15 megapixel. We can work with a 9.8 micron lens, so incredible accuracy and detail. We use digital more uh, for our 3D, so the measurement is, is the very highest caliber that you can get. We even offer QHD, which is quantum high definition more, which no one in the world has except Miratech. Then we have lighting, eight phase lighting, so we can do everything that an AOI machine would ever need to do with lighting we can do with this model. And then you put a price on it that's actually lower than 2D machines were selling a few years back. So it's a fantastic package and our customers are just eating them up. I then asked Dave, what is next for Mertec? Well, because of the success of the six really, uh, we've had a lot of pressure from our customer base. Um, the MV3, as you know, has been a major uh, desktop uh, AOI system for many years, market leader for probably five or six of the last 10 years and continues to sell very well. But because of the customer's requirement for 3D, Mirtic have now looked at launching a 3D version of the MV3L. Exactly the same specifications as I've just mentioned on the 6. Same software, same lighting, same cameras, same sensors. Um, but obviously without the conveyoring, for those that don't need it, it will be a very aggressively priced machine and it will outperform even the best inline uh, 3D that our competitors can offer. Finally, Dave told me his thoughts on Industry 4.0 for Mertec. My, I was actually involved in something very similar to Industry 4.0 uh, 10, 15 years ago, way ahead of the time where we were monitoring complete lines and adjusting machines automatically by what the AOI was seeing. And I've discussed this with my colleagues within Mertec and my view, and I hope the view that Mertec are going to follow and the one that I trust that they are following is that we should work with partners who are um, dedicated to communication uh, protocols. I don't think it makes sense for uh, either AOI, Pick and Place, or any other manufacturer to make their own 4.0 solution. Because as a supplier, we will never be dictating to our customers what machines they can have. We must have a machine that can link to anything, anywhere, anytime. And we use the term black box. There's plenty of people out there who are experts in doing this, and we are in negotiation with a few of them. And the idea is, is that when 4.0 uh, hits big time, when customers come to us and say, can you connect to my machines? We want to be able to answer, we can connect to anything. Finally, we're going to leave you with a video from Aculon, based in San Diego, who released Nanoproof, a surface treatment to protect PCBs from accidental liquid immersion. The technology is based on hydro oleophobic coating that is applied inline at the manufacturer and can deliver the benefits of conformal coatings without the defects. I need you to waterproof my phone. Uh, okay. Bro, 
Brilliant! Brilliant! That's it for this week. Thank you to our sponsor Panasonic. Any mix, any volume. Check back next week for more top stories from around the electronics world.